Hi, it's John. It's the 26th or 27th of April, and this is a dandelion clock once the, um, the fluff has gone. Interesting shape. It's like sort of a sun or, or a clown. Something that reminds me of a clown, you know, the bit that goes around the neck of a clown. We've got a wild flower patch at the bottom of the garden. A lot of vetch has taken over this year. Even some vetch there out in flower. Some uh, mauve vetch. And the bluebells are out. And if you go past a piece of woodland in Dorset, you can see great thrifts of blue of the bluebells. There's been a tremendous amount of rain over the past 24 hours. Everything is saturated. This little pullet, this little, or one like it, appears to be laying an egg. They laid little eggs to start with. Then as they get bigger, the eggs get slightly bigger. And the little eggs, they generally don't hatch. So it's best to eat them. About four in a pan full of scrambled egg. I was given some slips of rhubarb about two weeks ago. And I put them in and out of the four, at the moment, two, I'd say two were definitely growing. That one, it seems to have had a bit of slug damage. And that one there, which is definitely growing. But it also looks like some mole activity around here. So I've just put this bottle there, which will rattle in the wind and hopefully keep the mole away. I'll put this back over to stop the chickens destroying destroying the plants. It's good to keep a good patch of rhubarb because you can give it away to people because not everybody can grow it and, and uh, it doesn't grow for everybody and if it's in the wrong area it won't grow. You can make wine out of it. You can have rhubarb um, every day if you want to. This plant at the back here, the one with the white flower, is called Sweet Sicily. And you put it with rhubarb when you cook it, and it has a slight aniseedy taste. Um, takes a bit of getting used to, but the palate, the human palate, does take a little while to get used to different flavours. There are three sorts of bamboo in the garden. The nearest one is an ornamental type, which is miniature and has those yellow stems. And the two further ones are like bog standard common or garden bamboo, which get totally out of control. Now my dad wants some bamboo in his garden. Did I tell you that? Dad wants some bamboo. Oh yes, he told me himself actually, that you were going to bring him some. So I'll have to split one of these. and. Uh, put it in his garden and when I see it in his garden I'll always think of that it came from here. They're very tame aren't they the sable poots? They're quite tame, aren't they? Very tame. <laughs> Seem quite gentle at the moment. To <coughs> yes. Not so gentle with their women sometimes. She's in season. This one's very tame as well. Aren't you? Yes.
Oh yeah, the um, the back garden discovery apple. Is that what it is? It's nice when it's half out, isn't it? You've just got the um, like one bud open and these very red buds around it.